Hello all, it's Sharif here with Engadget and we are looking at a Kindle Fire HD um, but it's not, a, it's not an ordinary Kindle Fire HD, it's been tweaked um, yes. Alex, hasn't it, to, to run OpenCL yes. um, on the Imagination Tech Silicon, the graphic silicon that's inside there, the Series 5 Imagination Technology GPU so how did you manage to get OpenCL on here and what, what's the point? So we've worked closely with Amazon uh, and uh, TI to be able to offer um, OpenCL and prove that it's able to run on uh, mainstream devices today. Uh, so we can do clever things like game physics um, and we can actually increase the, this to three. Um, so we can do compute intensive applications on the GPU and again it's all about offloading a CPU making it available to do something else but also for budget tablets that are not able to do dual core to offer them a way of increasing their compute performance without having to go to quad core configurations for the CPU so it's all about moving all the the grunt work from the CPU to the GPU and thus consuming less power. The Kindle Fire HD without this tweak to run OpenCL would not be able to cope with this um, this amount of physics and, and rendering? Yes, that's correct. So if oh, yes. you were to run this on the on the CPU it will uh, just crash in terms of frame rates. Uh, so this is able to run at above 30 frames per second uh, fluidly on a tablet that's on sale today but that we've tweaked to to be able to run this. Um, if we just, you have over here a demo which is yes. running um, off, a, off a development board but with the same basic hardware as yes. the Fire HD and this, this time you can show us OpenCL what it, what it really means in terms of power draw because this board is hooked up to um, a power meter so, yes. so you can prove to us you know, why this would be good in the Kindle Fire HD if, it ever, if Amazon ever came around to putting it in. Yes, that's correct. So what we're currently looking at is an OpenCL image processing demo running on the GPU and you can see here that the CPU has become completely offloaded the CPU 0 is at around 5 percent while the, the other one is completely unused and the frame rate is at about 44-45 frames per second uh, and again it's consuming 3.5-3.6 watts um, and this is running on our PowerVR GPU. If we switch that and run it just on one CPU, you'll see the frame rate dropping immediately to 15 frames per second. The first CPU becomes completely uh, loaded at about 95%. So it's maxed out. So just yeah. to explain, the processing, the work that's being done is this, this image processing, changing the sharpness, the brightness of, of yes. this image of, of the monkey. And before we, were, we, we saw that being done by the GPU, now you've switched it so that the work is being done by the CPU. Yes. And, and the, the that CPU maxes is, it out. is completely not designed to handle this. This, is, this involves a lot of parallel compute that the CPU was not designed for. The CPU is designed to handle sequential code, uh, especially uh, things like branches and stuff like that, whereas the GPU can actually do parallel computation. And there the, the power has and gone up slightly. The power has gone up to 4 point something watts. Uh, so more power yes. for less performance yes. with the CPU. And even if we, if we switch it to uh, a dual core configuration, uh, both of them are again maxed out. The frame rate is slightly up, but it's still not very high. It's around 26 frames per second. But when you look at the power, uh, it's increased to over 5 watts. Mm -hmm. So That's a huge deal on a yes, mobile device yes. battery. Power. So if you just uh, make a simple calculation, we're saving about 1.5 watts. And if you multiply that with, I don't know, 5, 6 billion phones and tablets today, mm -hmm. uh, that saves you a huge amount of power. So that's what we would have or could have if um, the Fire HD supported OpenCL but right now this is just pure prototype stage yes, so there's yes. no immediate plans to get OpenCL in a Fire HD or uh, well we've we like I said we've worked closely with Amazon NTI just to show what we can offer with our PowerVR GPUs um, and our partners are I'm sure they're working closely uh, with us to uh, bring this functionality to consumers in the near future as well okay well that would be a, a nice thing definitely for yeah. graphics and gaming thank you Alex you're welcome.